Hello, fourth graders. Today is Inspiration Wednesday. Or maybe it's not Wednesday, but we're just, we'll just pretend it's Wednesday. Um, so for fourth graders who don't know what Inspiration Wednesday is, um, every Wednesday I read to my students about two out of the 50 unstoppable kids from around the world who have made a difference. So, I will read to you today about two kids around the world. So we left off here with Jack and Draka. So Jack was born in 1997, and his quote says, the big message is to inspire others to go out there and change the world. So Jack is a scientist. After losing a family friend to pancreatic cancer, 14-year-old Jack Andraka was driven to find a way to fight this disease. He began doing experiments in a small laboratory in his basement. What he discovered would set off an amazing series of events. Jack learned that the reason many people die of pancreatic cancer is because they often don't know they have it until it's too late. His research told him that as the cancer grows, it sends off a quiet signal. One day in science class, Jack came up with the idea for a sensor that could detect this signal. All it would require is a few drops of blood from the patient. Jack needed to find a lab that would work with him on his sensor. So he sent out 200 emails to labs around the country. He only got one response back from Dr. Maitra at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. Dr. Maitra invited Jack to his lab where Jack began working every day after school and most weekends well into the night. He even spent his 15th birthday in the lab. It wasn't easy. Jack didn't know what most of the equipment was and he had a few mishaps, but early one morning Jack found that his test had detected the signal. Jack's test only cost three cents to make and takes just five minutes to complete. It's also 90% accurate. This means it has the potential to change the outcome of cancer for millions of people. Since that day, Jack has expanded the test to detect two other types of cancers. Jack won the $75,000 grand prize at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, making him an instant celebrity in his hometown of Crownsville, Maryland. <clears throat> in 2014, he won the Jefferson Award, the nation's most important award for public service. The test is still in its early stages, and it will take years before doctors are allowed to use it on their patients. But Jack's contribution was a huge step forward in cancer research. Very cool. Let's move on to our second inspirational kid. <clears throat> Her name is Katie. Stagliano, and she's a philanthropist. <clears throat> she was born in 1999, and her quote says, I believe that youth have the power to do incredible things. Let's read about her life. When Katie Stagliano was nine years old, she brought home a cabbage seedling as part of a school project. She planted the seed in the corner of her yard and watered it every day. Katie's cabbage grew and grew and didn't stop growing until it reached 40 pounds. Katie wanted to do something special with her cabbage, so she donated it to a soup kitchen where it helped feed over 275 hungry people. This inspired Katie to do even more to help those in need. Katie came up with the idea to plant gardens across the country and then donate the harvest to feed hungry people. She named the foundation Katie's Crops. Her school donated land for the garden and her classmates helped pick the vegetables and distribute them. When Katie was 12, the local soup kitchen where she had donated her first cabbage was forced to shut its doors. The people who depended on it now had nowhere to eat. So Katie decided to expand her project to include Katie's Crops dinners. She gathered a group of volunteers in her South Carolina neighborhood who promised not only to grow gardens, but also to prepare meals and serve dinners. Once a month, these volunteers gather vegetables from their garden. Then, with the help of a trained chef, they prepare meals for those in need. 
In 2016, this group served 2,347 meals at 12 dinners. Katie's Foundation also recently started a free camp for kids who want to travel to South Carolina to work on a farm. At the camp, the kids can learn growing techniques, host a project, and find out about food safety. Now, Katie's Crops has 100 gardens in 33 states and donates thousands of pounds of produce to help feed the hungry. All of these gardens are managed by kids ages 9 to 16. One of Katie's goals is to empower other kids to start their own vegetable gardens. She hopes to end hunger one vegetable at a time. Pretty cool. So next week, I will read to you about Tavi Gevinson. She's a fashion icon. Ooh. And Calvin Doe. He was a scrap metal DJ. So I hope you enjoyed today's Inspiration Wednesday. Until next time.